What's up, guys? Flooding Mod 14. And, uh, yeah, we're back here with the, uh, Yu Gi Oh! Let's play Yu Gi Oh! Reship of Destruction. Uh, yes, yeah, so, um, in between episodes, I double checked. And it turns out we got Meteor Dragon from the guy in the, uh, the white shirt. So, um, now I'm not sure if he'll duel us again or not, but, uh, let's see if he will. Hello. Hey. You're not as weak as you look. <laughs> oh, really, buddy? Uh, yeah, uh, let's see if you'll want to duel again, my friend. You'll find your opponent in the next car. Oh, okay, okay. So I guess that, I guess that's it. You just get the, uh, the one meteor dragon from him. Well, the one car from him, and that's it. Uh, it is the right button, right? Let me make sure. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. Uh... Pretty sure that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I, I definitely just wanted to double check and make sure we can't we can't duel that guy again. Uh, but anyway, let's talk to the guy in blue, I guess. Hey, I'm gonna raise my duel level here. Then I'm going on to the next car. Oh, uh, really? Well, what if I defeat you first? Huh. I'll get my first win off you. Ah, uh, you might. You might honestly. This game is such an in an early state where crazy things can happen. It's my turn. All right, let's duel, buddy. All right. So he went first. Uh, that means we can attack first. No face downs. No spells or traps. Let's try Buku. Yeah. All right. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, even though we lost, we did learn that dreams don't beat light, and light don't beat dreams either, so... Good to know, good to know. Okay, but we got lightning conjure and a shadow, so we'll end the turn. Oh, did he tribute? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this guy might be a little better than all the rest. Uh, what's this? Ooh, win. So this is a uh, Occubeam, yeah. Holy smokes, bro. That's a good monster. Um, wind. What beats wind? Does it, wait. Does forest beat wind? Hang on, I gotta think here. No, 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 no. Pyro beats forest, right? What beats wind? I don't remember, to be quite frank. Is it earth? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, maybe... Does Pyro beat Wynn? Actually, Forest might beat Wynn, now that I think of it. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Let me go. Little Chimera, okay. So that's a Wind as well. Um, let's just test this. Was I wrong? Does Pyro be win? No, I think it is Forest. It is Forest, isn't it? Dude, it is Forest. Oh my god. Um, well, I'll be quite frank. I'm not sure if there was anything we could have done about this one. Well, of course, me me hurling myself into tribute monsters doesn't help. But, uh, La Moon. Wow. Ooh, that was pretty decisive. But, uh, we're just gonna pretend that, uh... That, that, uh, that, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna, <laughs> uh, we're just gonna, um, yeah, so, pretty sure we're on this one here. Let's, let's make sure I have Meteor Dragon. Let's make sure I have Meteor Dragon on the deck. Uh, hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'll just play it. I'll probably leave that in, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, let's check for Meteor Dragon. Wait, or maybe I didn't put it in yet. Uh, and we had saved? Let's check my trunk. Okay. Wow. Well, yeah, that, that guy got us on that one. Oh, okay, okay. I, I just hadn't put it in the deck yet. Okay, okay. So we'll go to the deck. I think I took out like Starboy for this last time or something, but uh, or maybe Flame Dancer. Okay, so yeah, we'll remove Flame Dancer and Trunk and 
Meteor Dragon. In you go, buddy. Oh, wait. Oh, he's already in the deck. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, Flame Dancer, you're back in, buddy. I just didn't see you in there. Sorry. Okay, so... Yeah. Where are you, Meteor Dragon? I just want to make sure. Make sure I'm not crazy. Uh... I guess I can sort by a tech side in here. There he is. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Just gotta make sure. Uh, so it's the guy in blue, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, my bad. All right, round two, buddy, round two. Yeah, and of course, like, like the, you know, normally I wouldn't save states and stuff, but, uh, uh, well, obviously I don't want to lose my progress getting Meteor Dragon. That's way too good of a card, so. All right, and this guy did prove to be right. He did indeed get his first win off of this, so. We might be dueling this guy a couple times. I don't know. I don't know. So far, he seems to be pretty good. So, let's see what we got here. Hmm, 750 seems good. All right, the Cyber Command in attack mode. Yeah, nice. Good first turn for us. Uh, let's end the turn. Okay. Man, he's got a lot of face downs. Man, this guy might be like really good for this point of the game. I don't know. Uh, let's go with... Let's just attack first. Okay, drill bird. Okay. And then let's... Uh, yeah, another thing that um, I didn't really point out, but uh, let's set Shadow. Um, attacking first is actually like the best thing you can do in this game. You know, if you've got, you, if you've got like a lineup already established, because like, let's say he's got a monster face down, and you know, you know what type is good against what. And let's say like, we attacked first, and we revealed it's uh, water type, and we can't beat it. It's got like a thousand defense. Well, we just go to our hand here and be like, oh, okay, I've got an electric type. So then you just summon your electric type, and there you go. You, you out, you know, they're only monsters, so. Yeah, the fact that, that there's no, you know, main phase, battle phase, in phase, etc. Yeah, the oh, so light beats, uh, light beats, uh, fiend, light beats fiend. Okay, but the fact that there's no, uh, yeah, yeah, phases means like it's definitely best to, uh, uh, yeah, attack first. Yeah. So. Okay, I guess we can tribute you, Flame Dancer, for... Doma? Sounds good to me. Alright. There we go. Let's get Doma out here. Tech. <laughs> yeah, who's got the tribute monster now, buddy? <laughs> Alright. Ooh, big mistake. Big mistake. You try to be aggressive. But, you know, I do applaud you for being aggressive, you know. You know, some AIs in Yu-Gi-Oh! games aren't, and you know, you can really exploit that. Um, should I tribute someone for Leo then? Um, no. We'll get, we'll get Wing Cleaver out here. I just like having more board presence, so. Okay. What you got, bro? Another light monster. Okay, maybe I should have attributed, uh, but uh, it's okay. Okay, so yeah, shout out beats light. See ya. Hey. All right, and now, well, you didn't beat my 700 point monster last time, so yeah, let's just get a different type out here. Thunder shot and sickle side. All right. Your move, buddy. What you get? Yeah, you got nothing, son. You got nothing. All right, thunder shock. Set. Ah, a thunder kid of your own, eh? Well, go. Lightning staff attack, Doma. All right, we win this time, buddy. Increase by one, and we get little chimera. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Last episode to end it, meteor freaking dragon. This episode, little chimera. But to be honest, little chimera, that's more along what I expected. So, yeah, if we could have fought that other guy, I definitely would have fought him over and over and over, and just kind of see if, if we could grind like a lot more cards out of him. But uh, anyway, looks like we can't. So, a monster that came from an experiment to grow wings on a beast. 
Despite its appearance, it's not very strong. Hmm, that 600 is better than some of our stuff, so I lost right off the bat. This is hard to take. Hmm. All right, so we've uh, cleared out these two guys. Now what? Uh, should I add Little Chimera? Probably. Let's check the uh, deck. Let me go to my attack stats here. And he is wind uh, for 600. Um, 600. Let's look at some of the lower ones. Um, Koragashi, what type are you? Forest, okay. Um, I could take out a Flame Dancer though, just to put that in. Or a Hanaiwa. Um, Earth. Okay, I think we got some other Earths. Uh, yeah, sure, let's take out a Hanaiwa. Yeah, we're just kind of improving our star deck here. And let's go for text stat. We'll put in Little Chimera, yeah. It's got 600, right? Let's start looking little, little, little. There it is. All right, to the deck you go, bro. Nice. And so, to be quite honest, I'm not sure what to do now, but let's just try talking to the guards and see what happens. Uh, okay, same stuff from you. And we can't duel you guys, right? Go look for someone else to duel. Oh, salty, salty, this guy salty. I lost right off the bat. This is hard to take. Yeah, well, I mean, I, to be fair, I lost you first, bro. So, uh, okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty sure some story stuff might happen if we talk to the guard on the left, so let's just do this, just in case. Let's go for number 10 here. There we go. Okay. What do you got to say, bro? The level of competition is higher in the next car. Ah, okay. Uh, wait, what? Uh, oh, can we go past you, or... Uh, yeah, because I, I, I got kind of stuck here last time, too, but... You wish to duel against me. Oh! Oh, now he'll duel you. Okay, well, apparently you have to beat the other two guys first, and then duel this guy to get him to move out of the way or whatever. So, can you beat me at your duelist level? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Tomazaurus, I will answer you. My turn. Alright, so we're going first. Let's go with a strong start. Morphing Jar face down. Yeah, that means I get a flip effect, right? So now, since you flipped it... Oh, bro, bro. You can't be bringing out the wind monsters on my earths. Oh man. <laughs> I was getting ready to say, uh, yeah. All of our monsters will return to our decks. Uh, well, that sucks. Um... I guess we'll just defend. I'll keep Flame Dancer face down and hope he like makes a mistake in attack mode. So, oh no, he just went with he went in with Jin. Ah, a lot of wins. Okay, so don't play Earth monsters against this guy. Um, hmm. well we got a we got a lot of pyros, so let's keep trying to bluff him. Let's keep trying to bluff him. Yeah, because only taking 150, I mean, that's that's not really going to, you know, you know, you know, you never know. Maybe the AI will make a dumb mistake and run into it. So, ah, now that I can beat with a forest card, with a fire card. Yeah, Gani Gumo. Okay. Oof, bad card to draw right now, but, uh, Candle of Fate, you're up. I'm pretty sure this will be super effective. Attack. Yeah. Yeah, that feels good. All right, we'll throw one down. Your move, buddy. He's got a good start on us, though, the train driver. Good thing I saved before this, you know. I had a feeling, I had a feeling, but I, honestly, I didn't know we were going to have to duel this guy, but yeah. Uh, 600 attack, okay. We got a wind of our own. I think the best thing to do is just crash here, honestly, um, and hope for the best, so, yeah. Oh, wait, he was Earth. Oh, so I didn't crash. Okay, that's even better than what I was thinking. Oh, no, he tripped it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What you got? The moon. It's not the strongest tribute monster. I mean, 1200 is pretty solid, so it's light. So I need a darkness card. Okay. 
Oh, we can take out Jin. But I think he's gonna win here, honestly. Man, we just got, uh, we got pretty unlucky that he took out Morgan Jar right away. Wow. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Yep, you got another monster, so I'm pretty, well, we might have one more turn. Turtle Raccoon. Huh. That's odd. Turtle Raccoon in this game is a forest. That's interesting. Hmm. Ah, okay. Curious seeking. Alright, Tidal Wave Attack. Yeah, take your first damage, buddy. Alright, and my turn. This should end it, though. Yeah, down to one. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's over. It's over. It's over, guys. Sorry, sorry, guys. I tried. I tried. I tried my best. And we lost. No. But it's okay. We're just gonna... <laughs> like, I literally just uh, used my Soldier Boy console, so... Yeah, we're just gonna... We're just gonna... And like I said, normally I wouldn't do this, but... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't, you know, get off the train and, like, save and heal your life once like normal, so, you know, and I, I don't want to lose Meteor Dragon, you know, so, uh, yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Well, I guess we would technically lose Tomazaurus, but you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. We're just going to do this basically in the interest of time. You know, normally I won't exploit that, you know, as you guys know. Usually I play it straight, but, you know. Can you beat me? I told you this level. Well, I definitely didn't the first time, bro. So, all right. Wish me luck in this one, guys. All right. Last time we went first. Oh, we get to go first this time. Uh, well, we know he's got 700s. Let's start with the uh, Phantom. Uh, almost hit discard there, bro. Oh my god. Jin. Okay, that he does seem to like to go in with Jin to start. Yeah. So, let's see. And we know he's good against Earths. Oh, that's why they give you Meteor Dragon. They're trying to bait you. Ah. Uh, I will go with Kaminari Kozuo. Um, and I'm actually going to play it... Uh, hmm. I'm going to crash here. He's got 900 defense, so I'm just gonna crash there and uh, win the turn. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Defending. That's what I like to see. All right. Okay, so we know uh, he can't beat Phantom Thieves, so let's attack. Dig Beak. Oh, he's got that Dig Beak. Yeah. 800 defense, not bad, not bad. Uh, but we do have a Pyro. This is exactly what I was talking about. I was just like, yeah, yeah, you know. It's best to attack first, and then... This is exactly what I was talking about. We couldn't beat that monster normally, but since I attacked first, we revealed that it's weak to Pyro, so... Oh, and he didn't attack us. That's odd, since we only have 600. Let's go in with Candle of Fate. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So he's got a light monster here. Do we have a shadow in hand? Uh, we have Doma. We also have Curtain. Ah, looks like it's Curtain for you, Petite Angel. Oh man, this is going pretty well, pretty well. We're getting the type effect of this on this one. Nice. All right. Ooh, defending again. Hmm. All right, let's go in with the uh, candle. Go. Ah, ha, 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 oh. Oh, all right. I think now, now that we've run them out of a few monsters, I will tribute Curtain for Meteor Dragon. Yeah, I just want to play it, guys. I just want to play it. Can you blame me? I mean, Meteor Dragon's freaking cool. I mean, yeah, I know they'll probably play another gin and out it, but I, I definitely wanted to summon it, summon it, you know, right after the episode we got it, so that feels good. All right, what do we get? Let's attack first. Oh, oh he's drawing nothing but forest. Yeah, yeah, our luck's turned around, guys. Our luck's turned around. 3,000. Uh, should I trip for Doma? Um... 
No, let's just go with Cyber Commander. Alright. Nice. He's down to 1550. It's going much better than the last storm. Alright, come face down. Not bad, not bad, bro. Alright. We'll attack with Meteor Drake. Dig beak. Good decision. Good decision. I didn't, you know, cost myself any more life points. And go, Cyber Commander. And uh let's attack with the Witch and Phantom Thief. Alright. So we finish off the train, man. Very good. Capacity increased by one. And what we get from this guy? Get in. Good defender. I'll take it. Yep, we already have this card. A being that uses its illusor illusionary spells to beat foes. It also conjures doves to carry out its attacks. Uses illusionary spells. Is Skinnin going to be part of the new illusionist type? Uh, it could be based on this uh, wording. I wouldn't be surprised if they retroactively change it. I've been defeated. But the next call won't be so easy. Ah, so now he moves out of the way. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. And we still can't go back to heal our life points and stuff. Let me just make sure none of these guys will duel me again before moving on to the next car. And we're going to end the episode here. Okay. Yeah. I'm not a worthwhile opponent for you. Best of luck. Ah, thanks. See, this guy's nice. This guy's nice. Okay, so. Alrighty, um, where are we at on time? Hmm, as far as the time for the episode? I'm actually not sure, uh, but just in case we don't have time for the next thing, let me just save here again. We'll go for number five this time. There we go. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen next, but uh, in case we don't have time, I think I just walked through me. Yeah, uh, five. Okay, so let's go to the next car. Let's see what's over here. Hmm. <laughs> You'll go no further. Who are you? <laughs> My name is Panic. The Millennium items will never be yours. Whoa, it certainly turned dark. <laughs> Looks like we've entered a tunnel. And now, let's turn down the lights. <laughs> and darkness gives me power. It's time to do. Oh boy, is this a shadow game? Ah, dunno, but uh, it's your turn. All right, and it's our turn. Uh, as you see, yeah, the field car the field here is uh, basically with Umi, so uh, some monster we powered up, like Beast of Talwar. Unfortunately, a lot of his monsters will be powered up here as well. Um, so yeah, definitely try your best monsters, and uh, you know, go for the victory. So, also listen to that music. In darkness, I find street. <laughs> Alright, panic. I'm not gonna panic, bro. 910 for Phantom Dewan. Not good. Not good. That is a shadow, though. So, maybe if we have a fiend, we can beat it. Uh, we've got a shadow monster of our own. Maybe I should use Beck in the Darkness here. Clear him out. And let's go with our Shadow Monster. I doubt this will be strong enough to contest some of his other stuff, but the director of uh, 780 is nice, so. Wait, he defended? Weird. All right, let's set. Oh, it, it was his curtain? Strange. Okay, well, I guess, uh, Let's try to get Talwar out here. That sounds like a good idea. We'll defend with this melting red shadow, and I'll end my turn. In darkness, I find strength. <laughs> my castle of dark illusion will, illum will illuminate the field. Uh, one monster on the foot. Oh, that sucks. So he took out our uh, monster that was boosted there. Uh, but that did, does leave him wide open, so let's just go with, uh, Drollbird here, and we'll attack. Alright, I doubt Drollbird can hold up to some of his other monsters, but, uh, we'll try, we'll try. So. Uh, oh! Wow! 
okay. So this is Fiend. Okay, guys, I guess we're gonna go for it. Um, or should I go for it? Should I just attack over this? Yeah, this seems pretty weak. And he might have uh, something that's good against Fiends. No, 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 this seems like too good of an opportunity. So I'll tribute. I'll tribute this one. Now it's time for you to face the Beast of Talwar. Legendary Blade of the Talwar, go. Woo, big hit, Panic. Are you beginning to panic? <laughs> I'm not gonna panic, panic. Oh, dude, he didn't play a monster. Woo. Okay, well, guys, I'll be completely honest. I expected that this school might have taken us a couple tries, but we got really, 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 really lucky. Uh, so, yeah, definitely don't take that duel too lightly. Panic can be very, very challenging, uh, mainly because the field gives them the advantage. You know, kind of like in uh, Forbidden Memories, how all the mages start with, you know, the field they're good on. Yeah, be very careful in this duel. So, yeah, we've already got Melting Red Shadow. Let's see what Panic has to say. Ugh. We're now arriving. Over. This is our last stop, the Egyptian Exhibition. Ah, I may have lost the duel, but you will never get the Millennium Items. <laughs> I'm leaving. Oh, okay. And uh, Panic is gone. Uh, Yugi, you okay? He's kind of stuck over here. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> I thought we had to maybe talk to Yugi there. Um, well, with that being all done, guys, I think, uh, yeah, pretty exciting duel. Uh, I think we're just going to end the episode here, and I'm just going to save state and stuff off screen. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are liking this episode. It's glad we're getting into some of the story. And uh, yeah, with that all being said, I will see you guys all next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! for Chef of Destruction. Alright, bye-bye. Have a good day.